So again, like I did with the raiding video, I'm going to give a very simplified overview of what civilians are and do. But in essence, they automate tasks and gather data. They take away tons of repetitive manual work, potentially making life easier for us landowners or pioneers. If you've played strategy games in the past, you can think of these as your workers or maybe your generals who come with perks and abilities. Civilians will work on a per property basis, with us initially being allowed a maximum of five civilians per property for properties of four tiles or more. There will be five civilian types or classes to begin with. The data analyst, which analyzes your property and droid data to give you useful insights. The droid technician, which automatically charge your droids for you when idle. The ether dispenser, which will automatically dispense or give you the ether collected by your droids. The raid commander, which will allow you to assign your droids to auto raid, although this will only be repeatedly going for the same property over and over. They won't be exploring or finding new properties for you. Some people do also seem to think the raid commander can only do this for one droid at a time. However, I tend to disagree here, especially if we can only have one of each civilian type per property as we are shown auto raid and turned on for multiple droids on the same property. So I think it's likely one raid commander will be enough to auto raid with all droids from the same property. Lastly, we have the droid pilot, but little is known about these guys other than they can use a flight sim within the Mentor to do specific missions using a droid that they wouldn't usually do. Two future civilian types were also mentioned, those being the dual specialist, which has abilities and knowledge for crafting jewels in more effective ways, and the ranger, which will automatically collect loot spawns for you, which appear on nearby land. It does seem we will get one of each civilian type per property too, rather than being able to select multiples of one type, with Shane stating, occupations will be assigned to a civilian based on the order in which they are synthesized, which I personally interpret as we will only be allowed one of each civilian type created in a certain order. Right, so how do we get civilians? Civilians will be created by the Mentors using Aoife, with the cost said to be around 20 Aoife per civilian, although this could easily change before launch. But that would be around 100 Aoife per property for a full set of civilians, or roughly 6 Essence based on current conversion rates. Now, civilians can only be produced one at a time per property. You can't just batch Kugol 5. Although it does appear there will be a queue system, meaning we won't need to keep going back after one's produced to start the next one. Now it does look like it'll potentially take 24 hours to produce one civilian per property, although the wording isn't 100% clear on that, so don't hold me to it if it's not correct. Now on the factions, there'll be three factions to begin with. The Space Force faction, the Rebel Force faction, and the faction of the Ancient Egyptian Gods. We will also see more factions in the future. I suspect each of these will have their own additional benefits and perks, but we don't have a lot of information in regards to factions just yet. Now, just as a roundup, civilians are there to make your life easier, to automate tasks and gather data. You don't need to get caught up in all the law stuff if that's not of interest to you. You will be able to play without remembering all of that. It's simply there for those of us who do enjoy storytelling to develop deeper emotional connections with what is going on in the world of Earth 2. As always, I hope this has helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. A huge shout out to all my Patreons and have an amazing day.